Hey everybody, this is Jeff from My Cook Better and Your Mom, and welcome to our brand new video. So not that long ago, I had the chance to go to Amsterdam, and it was my first time in the city, and I have to admit that it was, I was just so in love with it, like, everything, the architecture, like, those little canals everywhere, like, people, everything is, was just so gorgeous, and... Well, one of those days, I found this little spot that I'm not going to try to pronounce its name because I'm pretty sure I'm just going to butcher it, so I'm just gonna write it right here. They they had like the most gorgeous menu and what I ordered was so mind-blowing and I was like, this is so easy. Well, at least it looks easy, I have to say. But the, the, like, the combination of the flavors was just so mind-blowing and so brilliant. I was like, this definitely needs to go on one of my videos. So without any further ado, today's recipe is going to be based on that one. So let's get into it. All right guys, so let's start with the meat, right? As you can see, we've got this gorgeous piece of roast beef right here. It's around an inch thick, and this is going to make a gorgeous, very like pink on the inside, but very crusty on the outside type of cut. So we're gonna treat like a proper steak, right? First of all, we're gonna grab plenty of salt. Very, very important. When you're making steak, always add enough salt to your, to your, to your meat. So, let's do both sides. Now that we've got our salt ready, let's add plenty of pepper as well. I like my steak with a lot of pepper, but by all means you can go with as much as, as little as you prefer. So now you can, you can try your, your musician skills and you can drum your steak. Kind of like that. So what we're doing right now is like we're making sure that all that salt and that pepper is being absorbed by the piece of meat. So this is ready, right? My next thing is before we bring everything and start cooking inside, let's talk about the strawberries, right? About these gorgeous uh, strawberries. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of the of the stem, and then we're go we're gonna cut them like so. I'm gonna grab like a big one so we're just gonna get rid of this and then just like around quarters depending on the size of your of your strawberry of course you want like medium slash small pieces because we're about to cook this up and this is going to be our gorgeous marmalade so let's bring everything inside and let's get cooking all right you guys so we're gonna start with our strawberries so we're gonna add just a tiny bit of water. As you can see, it's barely just, just a little bit. And then we're going in with our strawberries. All right guys, so this is slowly simmering. I already added my sugar. I added a, a teaspoon of sugar, and this is slowly simmering away. So we're just gonna let this sit there. And once it's about to be finished, we're going to add our lemon zest and our lemon juice. So the sauce now has been cooking for around five minutes. And all I want to grab is something like this and just smash all those chunks. All right, so at the moment, I would say like this sauce has been cooking for around eight to 10 minutes. So now I'm just gonna turn my heat down to a low simmer. And I'm going to add our lemon zest. So we just want a little bit of that lemon taste, so something like this. As you can see, it's very, very little. So I'm just gonna grab this real quick, like so. So we're just gonna turn this off and let it cool down. We're gonna bring this bad boy to, to a high heat, definitely. So the next thing is going to be our gorgeous meat. So let's just wait a couple of minutes until this is very hot and yeah. My steak is around an inch thick. That will be like around two, two and a half centimeters. So we're gonna cook this for around three to four minutes on each side to get like a lovely, I would say like medium rare type of consistency. So let's go ahead and add some gorgeous oil. And let's go in with our steak. All right, so my steak has been cooking now for, for four minutes. So now it's time to turn it over. So I'm just gonna give this three minutes, and after I'm gonna add a little knob of, knob of butter and some garlic, and make sure you render 
this fatty part right here. Alright, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of butter and some garlic. And now I'm gonna do this process called basting, which literally is something like this. Just bring everything to the side, make sure your, your garlic gives that lovely perfume to your butter and just wash your, 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 your meat with it, like so. And then, it is very important you guys that we let our steak chill for at least 8 to 10 minutes. So our gorgeous steak has been chilling for the last 10 minutes, so let's see how this turned out. Oh yeah, gorgeous. Let's plate this bad boy up. Strawberry sauce, just something like this. I already cut my, my cheese on little strips, so I'm gonna make something like this. And just top it up with your gorgeous cuts of meat. And there you go. That's exactly what we want. This gorgeous, simple recipe that is gonna blow your mind. All right guys, so there you have it. Quite a simple recipe as you saw but absolutely delicious. I really hope you try it at home. And before I let you go, just FYI, I've got a second YouTube channel where I talk a lot about photography, video, sound, and stuff like that. And those little creep clips that you saw at the beginning, they're actually part of a cinematic video that I did of Amsterdam. So, you know, if you wanna check it out, make sure you go click on the little corner right there. And of course, if speaking of corners, might as well, right? Go ahead and on that corner you can find the like button, so if you liked it, by all means, go bananas in there. And on this corner right here you can find the subscribe button, so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!